Earlier in the, the day, a big news actually came in with regards to INS Arigat. That's the nuclear-powered submarine of India. A ballistic missile was tested from Vishakapatnam yesterday. As far as the missile results are concerned, that is yet to come in. But remember, this is once again solidifying India's nuclear deterrence position. And the fact that INS Arigat, which is... Uh, which was commissioned in 2024, this is the first big successful test that has taken place. Let me just quickly explain this to you, why this is a significant step that has been made by the, the Navy with regards to INS Arigat. Now, here, it is with regards to the K-4 missile. Remember, as far as uh, K-4 missile is concerned, this is an upgrade from the earlier missile that was used in terms of the range particularly. This is about going in with about 3,400 kilometers. I'm going to try and explain that in a short while from now. Now, what's the other important aspect? It can be submerged for long hours. That basically means that you cannot really detect as soon as possible. That is the reason why it is way different than the other submarines too. Extremely difficult to destroy and that is another significant aspect of this very submarine as well as the missile that was actually used. This missile that we're talking about, the K-4 missile, the range we're talking about is about 3,500 kilometers, which is again a significant upgrade than the previous missile that was actually used, which had only about 700 kilometers as the range that we're talking about. Now, this is with regards to the K-4 missile. And the test that was carried out, it was carried out in Vishakhapatnam, and the fact that this was a successful test that was done. Important to point out here, is that if you compare this with our neighbors, while we may lag behind in terms of the fleet numbers, but this again, remember, it is India's message for nuclear deterrence, but at the same time, a big message with regards to enhancing the capabilities. And that's exactly what India has essentially achieved by carrying out the successful ballistic missile test. Well, that's all that we could pack in this uh, edition of uh, This is Exclusive. We'll be back tomorrow at the same time with more stories. This is about the mysterious death of an Air India pilot in the city of Mumbai. While the police report essentially indicates uh, that this was... Uh, a case of suicide, the family members have made some damning allegations. And this is against uh, the boyfriend of the Air India pilot. In fact, the family members have made direct allegations uh, that this is a case of uh, harassment and much more. First, take a look at this report and then we also go across uh, to the Air India pilot's family members who are joining us live in a short while from now. Air India pilot Shrishti Tuli was found dead in her Mumbai apartment. According to the FIR, Tulsi allegedly committed suicide. The FIR mentions Tulsi's partner, Aditya Pandit's name, who has been named as an accused. Mumbai police have released more details surrounding this investigation. Listen in. उम्र 25 साल इसकी डेड बॉडी सेवन हिल्स हॉस्पिटल में लाई गई ये इंफॉर्मेशन मिलते ही पवी पुरुषों की ऑफिसर ने घटना स्थल पर जाके पंचनामे किया या इस एफ में आदित्य पंडित नाम के युवक के ऊपर उन्होंने संशय दिखाया था उसको कब्जे में लेके उसको हिरासत में लेके अरेस्ट करके माननीय न्यायालय के सामने प्रवेश किया गया उनतीस नवम्बर तक उसको पुलिस कस्टल रिमांड मिली हुई है उसकी इंक्वायरी चल रही है as the investigation gradually intensifies, all eyes on the key details that are yet to emerge. 
The body of a 25-year-old Air India pilot named Shruti Tuli was found in her Andheri flat. We are standing right outside that building. Powai police arrested her 27-year-old boyfriend named Aditya Pandit on charges of abating suicide. Shruti's relative alleged that Pandit misbehaved with her and often argued with her over the phone, due to which Shruti took such a drastic step. At present, the police have registered a case against Shruti's boyfriend on charges of abatement of suicide and arrested him after presenting him in the court. He has been sent to police custody till the 19th. The complaint was given to the police by Shrishti's uncle and at present investigation is still underway in this particular case. Tonight on This Is Exclusive, we are also joined by Vivek, who is the uncle of the Air India pilot, joining us on this broadcast. Vivek, some damning allegations have been levelled by the family members against the boyfriend of your niece. What, are the, what is the evidence that you have when you're making this kind of an allegation against her, her boyfriend? Sir, the first thing is that thing has been claimed by the boy and the girl who took the body that they opened, they called a keysmith to open the uh, door. And then they found Srishti Tuli hanging on the fan. Right, sir? The thing is, they are all trained persons. The girl is a trained pilot and the boy was under training, the pilot training. They know the rules. Anybody who is entering somebody's premises should at least call the police first, 100, for that they are going to break in somebody's house. And that too, with the, uh, with the thing that the boy is claiming that Sishti on a video call said that she is going to hang herself or die. Is this possible that trained persons are doing such a thing that they are entering, calling a keysmith? And how is this possible that a keysmith can open anybody's house without knowing that they are not the owners of that house, can they, the, can the key, should the uh, keysmith open the house? So, and the thing is, the keysmith, when asked, then did you hear something, any, anything fishy? So he said, no, I did not uh, see anything fishy. I was standing outside. A person, two person entering a house and their colleagues will not shout if they see uh, Shristi hanging. Mr. Vivek, is, is not the possible, family sir. then... Is the family then suggesting that this is a case of uh, murder and not suicide? Sir, we are just telling our doubts. This is the police and I, I because I belong to a family with my, my grandfather into Punjab police and my father into army, 1971 war, so how can I say that I, 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 I am claiming this? But these are my doubts. Mr. Vivek, with regards to the fact that the body was found and thereafter you were saying that the police wasn't immediately informed. Is there any yes. other evidence that the family members yes. are relying yes. upon? And what is it that you are calling for right now? Sir, the police told me that she died with, on hanging on a data cable. A data cable is just 1.5 meters and that too it is. It was tied to the fan's pin, and when we saw the fan, we have sent the photographs also. The fan was intact, with not even a single amount of bent in it. Can a 65 kg weight on the fan fin will not damage the fan? And that too, they are saying data cable that is 1.5 meters. If a knot is been tied up at the fan, and then in Shristi's neck, is it possible? And the furniture downstairs, usko koi problem nahi hoga, wo nahi. The furniture is intact. Everything was intact. Such a clean house. Can you think of that? Mr. Vivek, thank you very much for joining us on this is exclusive uh, and also narrating and the sir, audio. Thing, when, we, the when we checked, when we right. checked, when we checked Sisti's bank statement, we found two entries which was there. One was on 31st of October for 15,000 into uh, the guy's sister account and 50,000 on 5th of November into somebody's of the guy's sister's family. Right. And Mr. before Mr. Vivek, on 31st I'm, also... 
Mr. Yes. Vivek, I'm sorry I'm interrupting you because I'm running short of time, but uh, we'll be tracking this very closely as you've raised some very serious concerns and hoping that the police would also be looking into some of the, the serious allegations that have been leveled by you and your family members.